Hi guys, I have a fresh word. When I mean a fresh word, it means I literally just got the word maybe like five minutes ago. But I was driving when I got the word. And I just want to give the person the word. And it's just like, I haven't heard this. I haven't heard this specific word in years. The Lord said they are smitten by you. Okay. Highly attracted to you. Um, madly in love with you. And it's almost like their feelings have gotten deeper and deeper. So they're ma basically madly in love with you. And their emotions have gotten deeper and deeper. It's overwhelming sense of emotions for you. Okay. They are smitten by you. And it's positive. So whoever this word is for... You may have literally been questioning it. Like you may have been asking God if this person loves you, if, if they're madly in love with you, if they if they love you or are they in love with you? Oh, that's it, eh? That's it. God, do they love me or are they in love with me? Like I want to know, do they love me? Because you can love someone, but you may not be in love with them. Like there's a difference. You can love someone as in like, oh, I love this person. I care for them. You know, I love them. But in love means like I'm deeply in love. Like my, I get butterflies in my stomach. My heart is throbbing when I think about them. Like I'm deeply in love. I can't stop thinking about them. I think about them before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning. Like that's the difference, right? So God said confirmation. This person is smitten by you. Deep affection for you. They're intrigued, infatuated by you they deeply love you and i feel like the love is getting more and more stronger every day okay so um maybe the more god talks to them about you the more stronger the love is and hear what okay i honestly feel like this this connects to yesterday's video the video don't reach out to him let him reach out to you or something like that um, even though this message may be for a male or female, I said we can both take lessons from the other message yesterday. And I remember I was talking about your value, your worth of not chasing someone when God is telling you to be still and, and surrender because God is going to advocate for you. God is going to defend you. God is going to show them who you are as a person and why he picked you for them. And when God starts to show this person everything about you in the spirit, this person is going to fall madly in love with you because then it's almost like not only is God defending you, which is big, not only is God putting in a good word for you, which is big, but God is also showing this person beautiful traits and characteristics about yourself, right? Something that's unique, right? So anyways, I just, I just feel like I had to put that in there to let you know why it's important to obey God when God says, hey, you know, pull back, you know, so and let me do the advocating and stuff like that so anyways yeah this person's smitten by you this is your confirmation i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye